The St Bridget Award is awarded to one student from each year level in years seven to 10, who live out the Bridgetine core values in their interactions with other students and with the wider community. These young women model the behaviour and attitudes expected of Clonard students. This year, the St Bridget Award goes to these very worthy students. In year 10, Bella Napoli. In year nine, Cassiana Marcou. From year eight, Kate O'Donoghue and Antoinella Troglick. And from year seven, Emily Walker. Congratulations to you all. This year, the College Leadership Cup recognises the leadership of the college captains, Jordan Chisholm and Saskia Frake. Both of these young women have been leaders this year by example, leaders of their year level, of other leaders at year 12, and of all students at the college. They have prioritised their duties in being college captain and have both done an incredible job in balancing their studies with leading the college and have willingly undertaken every duty whilst being friendly and approachable to all members of our community. They have been wonderful role models to the SRC leaders and showed their commitment to the Clonard community, especially this year during remote learning. They initiated the Clonard Chronicles to keep us connected during remote learning and put in place a number of feedback processes across the year where student voice could influence how we went about remote learning. Jordan and Saskia have been a real team. Well done girls and best wishes for all your future endeavours. This award has been created by the ADF to acknowledge the achievements of young people who have demonstrated outstanding qualities of leadership and teamwork within our school and the wider community. Tonight, two of our students will be recognised for their exemplary demonstration of these qualities. They are Jess Ritchie of Year 12 and Maya Torrance of Year 10. Both these young women have been selected for this award to recognise the qualities of leadership and teamwork they have displayed in their involvement in the Justice and Democracy Group this year. Maya has been a voice for social justice at Clonard during 2020. As the Year 10 leader, she has helped to plan and promote the different initiatives the Living Justice Group has initiated. She is passionate about speaking out for the underprivileged and oppressed. Maya is a wonderful example for all students at Clonard through her caring and friendly nature and willingness to make a difference. Jessica Ritchie. It will come as no surprise that Jessica has had to overcome many obstacles in her role this year. As the plans and goals she had were put on hold, she had to be innovative and creative to ensure the work of the group could, con could continue. Jessica initiated new programs to raise funds and awareness for Caritas and VASP. As a leader, she was an outstanding role model, a good listener and always open and honest. She has been a wonderful example for the future leaders of Clonard. Hi everyone, my name's Alex Campbell from Deakin University. Firstly, I'd like to thank Clonard College for allowing me to announce the recipient of this year's Deakin Young Influencer Award. This award recognises excellence and celebrates students who are truly motivated to make a positive difference in the world now and into the future. Deakin believes strongly in acknowledging outstanding students who stand for the same values that we do. I am pleased to recognise Alicia Nanatis and celebrate her achievements with a $5,000 scholarship to support her first year of study at Deakin. Alicia's willingness to assist and go above and beyond shines through both academically and through personal endeavours. Alicia has contributed positively to the local community through volunteering and fundraising programs including the representation in the Golden Plains Shire Youth Voice Program, Walk for Autism, and assisting in coaching youth netball teams at the YMCA. 
She challenges preconceived ideas and the status quo and stands up for all that she believes in by advocating equality and change in STEM. Alicia is proactive and innovative and her contributions to her community and society will have a lasting positive impact. Alicia, I wish you all the best for your VCE studies and I look forward to welcoming you to Deakin University in 2022. The Kwong Lee Dao Young Scholar is awarded to a small number of Year 10 students in the state by the University of Melbourne. We are proud to announce that our latest Kwong Lee Dao Young Scholar is Lauren Dillon. The Clonard Sport Award recognises students who have shown service and commitment to both inter-school and inter-house sport over their years at Clonard. The successful recipient must demonstrate a high level of performance in a variety of sports. She must show leadership on and off the sporting field and commitment to training. This, year, this year's winner is Jordan Chisholm. Jordan has demonstrated leadership as a player and coach, representing Clonard with pride across a variety of sports and contributing to the Clonard community by encouraging others to participate in sport within Clonard. Jordan has shown great commitment and leadership to sport throughout her years at Clonard. Every year Jordan has represented Clonard in a variety of um, sports, both in inter-house and um, JISA level. Jordan is a very dedicated sportswoman. Please join me with congratulating her, and her on her fine contribu contributions to sport in the college across her six years. The Carmel Phelan Scholarship is an award provided by a retired member of staff, Margaret Phelan, in memory of her mother. Margaret, in these COVID times, cannot be here in person to present this award, so she has sent this message. Mum was well known for her support of Catholic communities, particularly in the areas of education and health. She was a woman with a strong commitment to using her talents to help others. I am delighted to be able to continue this tradition, helping others achieve their potential through this scholarship. Congratulations to this year's recipient, who is a good student, always helping others and seeking to serve. The Carmel Phelan Scholarship for 2020 is awarded to Year 11 student, Jolene Ha. Thank you, Margaret. Loma Howe was a music teacher at Clonard who provided outstanding service to Clonard as a teacher and musical director of many school productions over many years. The Loma Howe Music Award is given to a student or students who display similar qualities of service to music performance. This year, there are two award winners. They are Philippa Taylor and Sydney Green. This award recognises their outstanding contribution to music performance over their six years at Clonard. We thank both Philippa and Sydney for their generosity, extensive involvement in all areas of the music department from seven to 12. The next award is the Geraldine White Award, this year awarded to Jess Ritchie of year 12. Geraldine's sister, Catherine, has sent this message on behalf of the family who continue to support this award in Geraldine's name. Geraldine was the oldest of five sisters to attend Clonard from 1971 to 1983. She was school captain in 1975 and loved her time at Clonard. After leaving school, Geraldine attended Melbourne Uni and graduated as a physiotherapist. She worked at Bendigo Base Hospital and in 1981 decided to take up a position as a physiotherapist in Papua New Guinea with Australian volunteers abroad. Her dream was to assist paraplegic patients to live an active life as possible. Sadly, Geraldine died in an accident in New Guinea only a few months after arriving. There is a magnolia tree planted in the grounds of Clonard and the prayer said at the time included these words. We plant this tree in memory of Geraldine White who lived her life in the Clonard tradition of Christian service and love. As a family, we are very grateful for Clonard that this award continues to be given in Geraldine's memory. 
Congratulations again to Jess Ritchie. The Sister Justine Power Award is given for service within the school community in the areas of liturgy or creativity that celebrates goodness and giftedness. Sister Justine Power was one of the early students at Clonard and the first Clonard student to go on to be a member of the Brigidine Congregation. This year, the Sister Justine Power Award has been awarded to Brooke Parsons. Brooke has been a very dedicated and active student in her role as liturgy and identity leader. She took on her responsibilities with enthusiasm and attention to detail. Brooke ran the meetings, organised the liturgies for the year and was creative in her planning. Thank you for your service, Brooke. I am pleased to announce the 2020 Sister Jordan Shetty Award winner is Saskia Frake. Saskia is selfless with nearly everything that she does. No matter the situation, she will always put others before herself. Her passion and dedication to serve the college community is something that inspires other students in the year level to strive to do their best. Saskia is always gracious in giving her time to others to help them with both school and personal issues. She is positive, generous, reliable, and above all, above all, kind in her service to others. Saskia has regularly gone above and beyond to help others in this year level. She's a very deserving, deserving recipient of the Sister Geraldine Shady Award. Before I ask Sister Geraldine to present this award to Saskia, I'd like to thank her for the contribution that she's made to the college over many years of service. Geraldine, you, you model how we can be people of strength and kindliness. I will now ask Sister Geraldine to present this award to Saskia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Daniel Delaney was an Irish bishop and founder of the Brigidine Sisters. This award is issued for initiative and leadership in perceiving a need or opportunity and acting to fulfil this need. This year's recipient of the Daniel Delaney Award is Crystal Kovzan of Year 11. The citation on this award sums up Crystal. She's always willing to help students or staff in any activity in this community. But in this year, with its challenges to health and wellbeing, Crystal has been particularly focused on providing the Year 11 students with support for their mental health. She's also been heavily involved in the SRC's work in finding ways to listen to student voice and help produce many of the video products that the students have made to keep students connected in lockdown. She always asks how she can help and doesn't wait to be asked. And this makes her a great mentor for the younger students. She is such a great example of seeing a need and acting to address it. Please join with me in congratulating Crystal. This important award recognises a student who helps build a community where all people are valued and where all creation is recognised as sacred. Through consistently demonstrating the values of compassion, courage, hospitality, justice and wonder, this year's excellent example of doing all of this is Saskia Frank. Saskia is, of course, a college co-captain and has led this year with courage, compassion, integrity and seemingly boundless energy. She's also been a role model for everyone in this school and has made it her business to listen and talk to as many people in the school as possible. She is what we are all about and is the embodiment of Kildare Ministries values. Well done and thank you so much, Saskia.